another flyover of the Eastern Australian region from the southwest to the northeast. And for Easter Saturday, 31st of March, welcome to another update from the 4th of 13th Australia Oceania Channel where we have uh, two tropical systems on the radar. This is the life of ex-tropical cyclone Iris up to a few hours ago. The area convection previously located near 19 decimal 2 degrees south, 154 decimal 1 degrees east is now located 17 south. 151 decimal 7 degrees east and about 340 nautical miles east of Cairns and the system is now within range of the Willis Island radar station. A 91 gigahertz partial image shows a broad low level circulation or centre with flaring convection displaced to the north local observations reporting winds in the 25 to 30 knot range upper level analysis indicates a marginal environment with low to moderate vertical wind shear but upper level convergence over the southwest quadrant of the system is competing with outflow to the east of the system Limiting convection, however, warm sea surface temperature, 28 to 30 Celsius, are supportive. The system is currently assessed as subtropical due to its expansive wind field. Uh, we move from the center and another image uh, depicting a cold anomaly up aloft. Global models agree that the remnants of 17 p will track northwest in the next few days. BIO Meteorology has it tracking west and maintaining near gale force winds speeds or slightly decreasing in intensity. Maximum sustained service winds are estimated at 30 to 35 knots. Minimum sea level pressure is estimated to be around 1,000 millibars. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's information indicates that the uh, likelihood of a uh, significant tropical cyclone remains uh, low at this point in time. Here's the latest wind shear. 24 hour shear tendency. And the blue and the green represents low wind shear, which is very healthy for a tropical system. The 850 minute bar vorticity, there are two areas of interest with Iris and uh, 97P, which uh, should uh, become a, a tropical cyclone within the next 24 or less hours. Now, this is the uh, upper level divergence. And it's not looking healthy, as the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre said in their advisory, but for 97P, it's a lot stronger. Now, this is the current tropical cyclone formation probability guide. And this time yesterday, uh, the picture was completely different. Are we going to see another si two systems? Now this is a uh, earlier service chart. The Fiji Med Office. Now please stand by for another update. And in that update we'll have another look at this system 
and 97P. The Bureau of Meteorology's Flood Watch remains in place. That's from Cairns to the Burnett Heads, uh, which is just slightly north of Harvey Bay and Bundaberg area. Late cycle intensity guidance. Uh, one model still maintaining a Cat 1 system. This is the Navy's NAF gem. And I'm not ruling this scenario out. The GFS actually has it tracking west over the Cape York into the Gulf of Carpentaria where we know that the sea surface temperature remains very high. Now this is a Canadian model and it can't be ruled out. The UK Met, they're saying a Cat 1 intensity scale are the circles at the bottom right hand side of the screen the intensity sea surface temperature is the scale above and we know that X iris uh, being subtropical to a degree it's actually sucking in uh, cold air and that's why uh, it's been classed as subtropical Late cycle track guidance. So, from my uh, own uh, personal position, there are three models, possibly four models, indicating a possible track down along the Queensland coast. Now, this is total precipitable water. The uh, scale is on the right hand side of the screen. And you can clearly see uh, ex-tropical cyclone Iris. It's still maintaining the clockwise motion. Here's the Noah floaters and the thunderstorm activity is actually to the north and northeast. If you look carefully at these floaters you can actually see where the center is and as mentioned it is in a range of the Willis Island station and it should become a tropical low uh, characteristic sometime next week Now this is the Vorac and this is used in measurements. The slightly yellow is dry air. If you've got any uh, questions, please uh, post on our uh, AU channel, they do get read, and I've already had uh, some uh, questions uh, posted, and we will in the near future answer them. This is the latest view on meteorology's 12 hourly rainfall, and you can see. It's uh, north of Fries on and right up to Port Duffus or even further up the uh, tropical north Queensland coast. Rainfall scale, as mentioned, is on the bottom side, on the right hand side of the screen. And note those three areas in purple to pink.
Now we have a look at precipitation. The values bottom left hand side of the screen. This is from 1 pm through to the same period uh, tomorrow, Easter Sunday. I hope you're enjoying the uh, Easter break. But it would be advisable to keep an eye on the uh, Bureau's warning pages. Now, storm of probability and basically 90% of the coastal region of Queensland could see uh, thunderstorm activity within the next uh, few hours. And the latest flood watch for coastal catchments between Cairns and Burnham Heads. River level rises and areas of potentially significant flooding are likely to develop over parts of the flood watch area for Monday. Ex tropical cyclone currently in the coral sea is expected to approach the case over the weekend. Now, this is a look at the wind feature, and it's the area in yellow and looking at the total forecast of rain and as I mentioned in my previous update the uh, the future track is still some days of rain, but as it edges towards the Queensland coast, the picture changes. Uh, the system only has to track to a west southwest, and possibly the threat increases down into the southeast Queensland corner. Now, this is another look at precipitable water GFS model, the uh, pivotal weather website, and you can see the Best 97p. The positioning of two free highs to the east of Victoria are in uh, motion, and 97p is expected to track to the southeast. Now we have a look at uh, pressure, wind speed in knots. And again, uh, highlighting or recapping that non-official weather information does change, especially in the models. And are we going to see another two systems up there in the uh, Solomon Island region? This is a few days old. This is the current but finalised chart from the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. You can follow Force 13's outlets. The website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.